Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you assign a macro to a command button's events, whenever the specified event to which you attach the macro occurs, then the specified macro will run. If you wish a user to be able to click a command button control in a form to launch a macro, then open the form in Design View. Next, ensure that the Use Control Wizards button is selected within the Controls button group. Then click the button control in the Controls button group on the Design tab of the Form Design Tools contextual tab within the ribbon. Then click and drag over the area in the form where you wish to place the command button. The command button wizard will then launch, allowing you to pick what text or picture to include on the button and also what macro to attach to the button's click event. This is a very quick and easy way to assign a macro to a button. You can also assign a macro to an object's event through the property sheet. To do this, select the object in the form to which you want to attach the macro, and then click the property sheet button to display the property sheet pane. In the property sheet pane, click the event tab to view all of the available events for that particular type of object that is selected. Typically, macros are assigned to the on-click event of a command button, which runs the macro when someone clicks the button. However, there are other types of objects and events to which you may find it useful to attach macros. For example, you may want a macro that runs when a user rolls the mouse pointer over a selected object. In this case, you would program the macro to launch on the selected controls on mouse move event. Once you've determined the appropriate event to associate with a macro, you can click into the Event Property field within the Event tab in the Property Sheet and select the name of the macro that you want to run from the drop-down list that appears. Now also note that when you are in Form Designer view, you can now embed macros directly into a form. Macros that are embedded within a form do not appear as separate objects within the navigation pane. They can only be edited from within the form. To do this, first select the object in the form within which you wish to embed a macro. Then click the Event tab in the Property Sheet. Find the event to which you want to attach an embedded macro. Then click into the event shown in the tab, and then click the Builder button, which appears at the right end of the property field and looks like an ellipsis mark. In the Choose Builder dialog box that then appears, select Macro Builder, and then click the OK button. This will then open the New Macro Design window, where you can build the macro as normal. However, when you are finished, simply click the Close button in the Close button group on the Design tab of the Macro Tools Contextual tab. Then click the Yes button to save the embedded macro into the form. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.